Hey guys, what is going on? Today we're gonna to be taking a look at YouTuber Nathaniel Drew. Now, Nathaniel Drew obviously just shared a story called I'm going bald, so I shaved my head. I thought it would be really good for us to take a look at this video. For me, just to share my thoughts on his story and his journey and what he's going through. And guys, if you're looking for a system online, LaVivid Hair is sponsoring this video, supporting education inside of the community, get 15% off any stock order if you use my code down below. So let's jump right in from the start. This is a film about identity and accepting what I look like in a world of unrealistic beauty standards. Hola, Nathy. As I'm getting older, I've noticed that I'm starting to lose my hair. What? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that was my reaction growing up whenever my brother would make fun of me and he would say that I was gonna lose my hair. I was like, huh? Story. This might not make a whole lot of sense to a lot of you. Um, that's okay. I'm doing this for me as a way to sort of deal with an inner demon. This is an insecurity of mine that I have lost far too much mental energy on. Uh, and I just want to move on with my life. I think he's got a really great perspective on his hair loss and understanding just how and how much it can affect someone's life. I mean, this guy right here, he probably looks like he has less hair loss than most of us and he's already contemplating it. It's something that's bothering him. It's something that is going through his head and it's occupying mind space. So let's just follow he along his journey. A full head of hair, um, but my hairline is very much dude he's barely losing any hair you know this isn't for me to judge or anything like that but it's just if i looked like this my god i would keep my hair but you see, know i see my hair thinning i see more and more of my hairs falling out in the shower and with the genetics that i've got the amount of bald men in my family i know that at some point in my life probably in the not so far future i am going to be bald let me that's the scariest thing in the world. When you know your genetics are coming for you and you can't do anything, you can't run from them, you can't hide from them, they're just coming. And they're coming fast, like a freight train coming from hell. Give a little bit of context as to why I'm doing this. I just ran my hands through my hair, just, you know, the last 60 seconds. And uh, that's a lot mm. of hair. To anybody who's ever lost hair, they know what this is like, what this moment feels like when you run your hands through your hair and you just get a lot, way too much hair. It's a scary thing. I started to notice my hairline receding a little over a year ago. At first, to be honest with you, it was complete shock. I guess I never thought I would start losing my hair this early on in my life. I just figured it would happen maybe in my 30s or 40s or later on in life. To be honest, I have not always had the most positive self-image and uh, this quickly sparked fears that go a little bit deeper than just losing dead skin cells from the top of my head. It has more to do with uh, being seen as unattractive, especially by the other sex, by women, and uh, maybe a fear of ending up alone or not being desirable. I guess it sounds a little bit vain to say some of these things, but it's true. And it also represents this sort of slow, inevitable approach of death. Yeah, you know, I had a discussion with a friend down in Florida when I was living there and he had chose to completely go in a different route than me. He decided to shave his head and he was around uh, 28, around the same age as me at the time. And he said, you know, one of the things that I'm choosing to embrace is the fact that this is inevitable. And the fact that, you know, most men are gonna lose their hair. And instead of fighting this, instead of living with this insecurity and and trying to be something i'm not i just want to embrace it and kind of mature with grace is how he put it now i know that this man uh, really struggled with his hair loss and it bothered him a lot we talked about it at length but that's a route he decided to go and i think it's really cool that uh, nathaniel drew here has a perspective that you know hair loss really does make you consider your own mortality um, it makes you confront your own identity it makes you think about the way that you appear to other people it gives you a lot of insight and depth to your personality sometimes that other people well they don't have to go through because they don't have to go through this experience i know these are really heavy topics that i'm invoking here i want this to ultimately be a fun video in a sense because i don't want to take myself so seriously but i'm just being honest about where i'm coming from here this has been a heavy topic for me now over the course of the last year especially during periods where i've had quite frankly, too much time with my own thoughts. I have become a little bit obsessive on this subject. In a sense, it's the first time in my life where nature is happening in such a way that I cannot control. And I have this sort of personality of being action-oriented, solution-oriented. 
mm -hmm. of wanting to fix problems as they arise. And this is something that I can't really fix. And so as such, I feel like I've gone into these very exhausting sort of cyclical worrying cycles of ruminations. I think we all know what that's like. Hair loss isn't something that you can really stop. One, with medications, you can slow it down or maybe prevent it from continuing temporarily. But the second that you're off of them, they will continue. A hair loss may uh, give you back some of the hair artificially. However, if once again, you are taking medication, um, you know, that's, that's an artificial stop to the furthering of your hair loss. If you stop that medication, many times the hair loss will continue to proceed forward. And even a, a hair system, you know, it's an accessory. It's something that you add into your life, but that isn't stopping the hair loss either. Hair loss is something that temporarily at the moment um, with where modern science is cannot be truly stopped in place and definitely not healed from. Maybe in the future, and I, I hope that days comes. Become free of this insecurity. Welcome to my bathroom. The moment of truth has arrived. I'm enlisting the help of my friend. <laughs> I'm nervous for you a little bit. I was doing totally fine until this morning. And since this morning, my heart has been pounding out of my chest. I need to just do this. I need to demystify this. The time has come. I remember when I uh, went in to get a hair system for the first time and I knew that they were going to be shaving the top of my head. Yo, I was sweating bullets. I was in the car and my my palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy. There's vomit on my sweater already, long spaghetti. Mom spaghetti? One of those, I don't know. Uh, no, but seriously, like it was a really, really serious moment. And then after two months of wearing a hair system and I decided that I needed to uh, try something else and I decided to shave my head, oh my God, that moment was so scary. It was so scary to shave my own head for the first time. Yo, they're doing it like the slowest way possible. <laughs> Take a razor to this thing. Don't just like I know cut off the one. hair. I know that there are millions of men around the world that struggle with this as well. This is 1500s peasant. Especially the one girl the side. <laughs> yeah, I live in Germany in 1612. This is looking good though. Like, I mean, this is looking good. <laughs> I'm lacking the materials to do this properly. This is looking <laughs> god awful so far. <laughs> oh my god, alright, continue. Let's go. You're placing the hair on my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> I love that he's making this light and he's making it humorous. Cool dude right here. Um, this is such a scary moment in someone's life and the fact that he's making light of it and that he's processing it that way. I just think that's a beautiful it's thing. I don't there, know why. They are improving with time, but still as of today, uh, all solutions out there have their drawbacks. Most of them are either expensive or painful. And sometimes there are negative side effects like permanent impotence that sort of represent a a very high price to pay. A price that I'm not willing to pay. Rino so you just want to leave this section here? Yeah. That's Ronaldo from the World Cup. This is probably the worst haircut I've gotten ever in my life. <laughs> I would never shame any man for getting surgery or looking into or taking any of these potential solutions. And who knows, maybe I will down the road. It's hard to say, things can change. But I'm coming at all of this from a different angle. I don't even want to consider this a problem in the first place. Um, I don't want to feel like I have to fix something about myself. I don't want to go through life feeling like I'm hiding. I don't want to apologize for who I am. I don't want to conform to somebody else's idea of what I should look like. I'm not interested in doing any of those things. God, you know, he's got such a beautiful perspective. You can tell that this guy has thought a lot about his hair loss and and his identity, really, because that's what it comes down to. We've talked about this on the channel. Hair loss is about identity transformation and uh, a change that sometimes we are not actually wanting. And what do we do when a identity changes forced upon us um this isn't i'm not trying to compare this to like a, a severe uh like physical ailment or you know amputation or something like that but but sometimes you know life happens to us and and life brings about situations that we aren't prepared for and sometimes we don't want and and how do we respond to that you know i think that he's got a really great perspective here about the fact that he doesn't want to conform to what anybody says he doesn't want to hide he doesn't want to be kept in secret any of these things so 
um, you know, I totally respect his choice here, and I just I, I love the way that he's coming at it. This isn't a defensive move from him. It's not one where you know he's putting down anybody else for making a different decision. He's doing what he needs to do, and. Also, I don't know if you picked it up, but he's saying that he might change his mind in the future. Um, you know, that this is a journey for him and he doesn't know where he's gonna go. God, that's, that's there's so much self-awareness in that. Wow. <laughs> Tan line, looks good. alert. So it's been a day. I gave myself 24 hours to sort of reflect on things, take some time to myself. Either we did not do a super good job shaving or it has started growing very quickly because I feel like it has already grown since yesterday. It's getting darker up here. Mm. To be completely honest, this was liberating for me. I definitely feel a weight lifted. Um, I feel like it really was not anywhere near as big a deal as I thought in my head. I feel really good about having done this instead of letting the thoughts in my head keep going and keep going and feeding themselves. One of the things that I love about this right here that he's bringing up without saying it explicitly is the fact that he made a decision and he feels liberated. Often, no matter what decision we make, we're going to feel some liberation. We're going to feel some sense of relief because we've made a decision. We've gotten momentum. We have taken action. And part of being a man, uh, well, a successful human being, but part of being a man is taking action. It's moving forward with things and not letting indecision cripple us. And often, indecision is the worst thing that's possible because at the end of the day, that means that we've done nothing. So what I'm going to do now is call some friends and family to get their reactions on my new cut. I'm going to start with my mom. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? What do I think? Well, you look great. You have the most gorgeous eyes. Thanks. Oh my lord. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. I don't know why, but his mom's reaction just touched me oh. so much. What do you think? Oh my goodness. Kind of cool. I, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Um, no way. <laughs> Yeah, you can't. Yeah, no, no hiding the ball. Bald head. brothers, let's go. Just, <laughs> just. I'm sick of worrying about it. I got so sick of worrying about it. Honestly, it was nowhere near as big a deal as I thought. I feel pretty decent about it. Honestly. Je voulais juste te dire que tu m'as inspiré. Voilà. Okay, so. It has been a couple of weeks now and the look is starting to grow on me. Uh, my conclusions are that this whole experiment, this whole challenge that I put myself through has helped me go from worrying about this a lot to not worrying about it very much anymore. Like, mm -hmm. I'm over. Facing mm -hmm. it like this mm -hmm. made me realize that it's not a big deal. I just needed to see it to demystify this and now I feel like I can move on. I can grow my hair back out and enjoy it while I've got it, but when I lose it, which is is going to happen again because of my DNA, mm -hmm. it is what it is. Like, and this is this is something I felt too, and I know uh, other men that I've talked to that have shaved their head, even if they decide to grow back out or go with a different option. There's something really spiritual about choosing to shave your head for the first time and uh, walking through that experience. It's like this weight is lifted off of you. You know, the thing that you're most afraid to do, you've done, and at that level, you know, conceptually in your mind, it's something, it's a place you know that you can go again because you've walked it before, as opposed to like all this pressure building up inside of, of me or you. And, you know, we're losing hair. We're not sure if we can handle being bald or anything like that. Hey, it, once you do it for the first time, you're like, you know, listen, it's gonna be okay. I'm still here. I'm still alive. I'm still functioning. I'm still, myself now is this something that i want is this a look that i want is this an identity that i want there's a sense of relief that comes with that and i know exactly what he's talking this about this is here. a look that i can live with it turns out people don't really care what's on my head um and talk is cheap some people told me that i look like i just got out of prison and some people told me i look like a psychologist like everybody's gonna have an opinion and that's just life what matters is that I feel good about how I look and I can go back to more important things like learning about and enjoying life as much as I possibly can while I'm here. What did I do to deserve this? I can't, I honestly can't really believe this country. Absolutely nobody here. It doesn't matter how you look. Own it, baby. Life is short. 
When life gives you lemons, make that lemonade. And when life gives you no hair, have no hair, right? Um, this video is awesome. There's a little bit more to it. If you want to go check it out, there's about uh, two minutes of it. I'm going to put a link in the video description down below if you want to watch the whole thing yourself and leave him a comment and some support for the journey that he's going through. Uh, but you know, first off, this guy is attractive. He's a good looking guy, whether he's bald, whether he has hair, no matter what, he's just a good looking dude. And his personality, amazing. The way that he's thinking about, you know, his identity, what he's going through, shaving his head, super transformative. And I mean, just an inspiration for all of us is something that we should all look into and also feel honored that he's sharing this journey with us and giving us so much insight. I'm, I'm really, really proud of him for doing this right here. And I, I just, I have a lot of respect for him. So thank you guys for watching this video. Go make sure that you give his video a like as well as my own and leave me a comment down below. How did this make you feel? You know, what, what thoughts did it bring up in your mind? What questions did it bring up? Um, I'm excited to hear from you guys. Uh, much love to you as always, and we'll see you soon.